looking a lot like that. Right there weather. Oh, oh my there. goodness. Yes, so jealous. It's a nice, Could it's not be so more nice. jealous of that type of weather, especially right. like when you're in the midst of winter. I know, it's like, right? Yeah. Yeah. And when you can't even see the sun out there for days. There's no way out, right? If we go forward, we have to go just as equally forward as we do back to get to We're like a right nice in the middle, season. Right? I shouldn't yeah. say nice season because I know some people are like, well, we love the winter. Right. I like winter Fair over enough. spring. You like winter over oh, spring? Oh, really? Yeah, really? Like, the spring's my least favorite season. Least favorite? I like yes. spring. I like the longer days in the spring. I look forward to that. Well, now what? The sun's at like 5.07? Yeah, there? what is it today? It's 5.03. Yeah, 5.03. Okay. How you far know? are we away from spring now? What <laughs> are we, like 40, 40 something 40 days. Something days like 40 yeah. something days. All right, yeah. I, I can look at that. Days. So just the countdown days. continues. The problem <laughs> and the issue that I think a lot of us are complaining about, myself included, right, is the sun, the lack yes. thereof over the last week. We'll take colder temperatures if we're going to have some sunshine. That's really not going to be the case today, tomorrow, probably not Friday either. However, as we head into the weekend, I think things will finally brighten up. We have a lot of low-level moisture that's kind of stuck across the northeast. And, you know, with the temperature falling to the dew point, the air gets moist and you get little bits of drizzle and mist. And so with readings below freezing, that can lead to some icy spots this morning. So just be careful and mindful of that. Plenty of cloud cover throughout the day. Optimistic that we might see a few bright spots this afternoon. Temperatures will come up into the low to mid-30s. We'll have a little bit of a southwesterly flow today, so that might lead to a few bright spots. But for the most part, temperatures, uh, I should say skies will stay cloudy, but temperatures with that southerly flow will come up a few degrees. Clouds do stick around tonight, and clouds stick around tomorrow, although tomorrow will crack 40. We'll probably be into the low to mid-40s by the afternoon. So just remind the kids to use a little bit of extra caution as they head out with some icy surfaces here and there mainly or especially across the hills, Franklin County as well. Uh, by this afternoon, temperatures will come up into the mid to maybe some upper 30s. Readings upper 30s today, but 40s tomorrow and Friday, then 30s as we head into the weekend. Uh, you may have noticed earlier in the week, we're thinking maybe we'll be lucky if we get to 30 over the weekend. Uh, that cold air coming in behind it, it's not all that cold. It's just going to bring us back down into the middle and upper 30s for highs. Plenty of cloud cover across the northeast right now. And, of course, that includes southern New England. So let's uh, play it out here with your future cast. We'll have a light breeze today, maybe up to about 5 to 10 miles an hour. It's around 3 o'clock. We're overcast for the most part. Clouds stick around tonight as there won't be much of a breeze, and we just have to watch out for maybe an icy spot again tonight. Then tomorrow, plenty of cloud cover. The breeze picks up just a little bit. Then here comes a front tomorrow night. And as we go into Friday, notice how there's not much precipitation with the front. We might have a shower tomorrow evening, then maybe a mixed snow shower or a raindrop as we go into Friday morning. The clouds do stick around Friday. It's probably not till the weekend that we'll see brighter skies. Uh, precipitation totals with this front, almost nothing. Uh, there'll be a lot of us that don't get anything from it. Maybe up to about a tenth of an inch. That is about it. So for tomorrow, more clouds, but milder, lower 40s. A lot of clouds in the morning and then maybe brightening in the afternoon as it gets breezy on Friday. High temperatures in the lower 40s. We turn a bit cooler over the weekend, but it does look like it'll be brighter with temperatures coming up into the middle and upper 30s. And that's what will be today with generally overcast skies. Tonight, middle and upper 20s, maybe a few icy spots again with some low-level moisture. Then for tomorrow, readings will come up into the low to mid 40s, maybe a little bit of brightening. And then in the evening, a raindrop, maybe a wet snowflake going into Friday morning. And then here comes the sunshine, finally, especially as we push into the weekend. First weekend of February and the first week of February looks dry, fairly bright, and perhaps a moderating trend by the middle and latter half of next week. All right, the time, let's see, it's 6.17. Hopefully you're on time. Amanda and David, we'll see you again in a few minutes. See you then. Thanks, Dan.